What's going on, everybody? Um, wow, my head looks really little in this video. Like I have a big body and little. Have I always had a little head? Like, do I have a tiny head and nobody told me? Like, my head looks really little. I mean, maybe it's the camera angle. Anyway, um, I decided to to make this video, um, because there's some things that. I need to get off my chest now I just want to start off by saying like I'm not mad I'm not upset I'm not angry I'm not disgruntled any other word that someone would try to put on me to discredit what I'm about to say or anything like that like I'm none of that like I didn't I didn't work there for the money I didn't work there to kiss anybody's butt or try to get ahead by stepping on others or anything like that. I did it because I loved what I did. I love training agents. Um, I love the people there. Star Tech is not a bad place to work at. Um, T-Mobile is not a bad company to work for. Um, it's just the people that they have in charge aren't aren't the right people they 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 look out for themselves first and that's fine if that's who you are and that makes you happy then by all means you know do you be happy me personally i am a people person i don't put down others or step on others to get ahead i, I won't do it if my character and hard work doesn't speak for itself then I don't need to be a part of your company and that's fine. I wish everybody the best, but I am going to tell the truth. And some of you may be asking, well, why now? Why, why since October, haven't you said anything? Because it wasn't necessary at that time. Um, I don't have anything to gain by bad mouthing somebody or, um, talking bad about somebody or talking bad about a company who who they were good to me for over a year you know I got promoted real quick um, I met some wonderful people um, just you know just it was fun I had fun while I was there I stayed myself I was me the entire time I never changed I was the same person I love for everybody um, Unless I saw that you were a less than genuine person, then I kind of stayed away from you or was quiet around you, didn't really talk to you. Um, but if you were a pure person or a good person in my eyes, then I had nothing but love for you. You know, I congratulated people when they got promoted. I congratulated people when they accomplished things. I was happy, you know, for everybody. Um, but the reason that I'm doing this now is because, like, to this day, I'm still hearing stuff that's being said about me. I'm still hearing rumors that are coming up about things that I did that just honestly aren't true. And since, since things want to be said about me that aren't true, I'm going to tell the truth about what happened now. I'm not going to use names because I've been advised not to, but those that work there, I have a feeling you'll know who I'm talking about when I say certain things. Um, so let me just start from the beginning when it kind of came off the rails for me. Um, after my first training class, which, you know, I loved, I, I loved the whole fundamental setup. I loved um, coaching. I loved, you know, making new agents and a lot of my agents. Well, I want to say all of my agents that are still there. Um, the majority, I want to say 90% have been promoted. Um, and that's, it's not because of me. It's because of their hard work. Like they, we've identified stuff they had to do and they did it and they succeeded. It's, I'm not going to take credit for anybody's success. Um, but after my first, my first class, I got called into 
um, the site director's office. Um, and I was given a PIP, um, a performance improvement plan. Now, I was confused as to why I was getting a PIP because up until that point, nothing was the mat, nothing was wrong. I, you know, I always ask, is there anything that I can do better? Anything that I'm not doing? Um, is there anything that, that can, I can improve on? Is there anything? I, I, I ask these questions all the time to my manager, to, to other coaches that I respect, you know, everything. And the answer was always, well, from the manager point anyway, the managers were like, no, you're fine. We're good. We're good. Yada, yada, yada. Cool. So I'm thinking everything Gucci. Come to find out, they come to me with this whole list of stuff that I'm allegedly not doing or accusations of stuff that I had done. Um, and I kind of went back and forth with the site director as to why I felt that this wasn't fair and my side of each story that they said that I had or hadn't done. And she did her best to dance around it and and try to justify it, but none of it was making any sense. Um, I'll give you an example. One of the situations that they said happened on there was um, I avoided an escalation. Now, apparently an individual um, let's just call him BM. Um, you can call him a bowel movement or whatever you want to call him. That's what he is to me. Um, he's a complete garbage person. Um, he's not genuine. He's, he's, he, he's, he's just garbage. So I call him bowel movement. Um, bowel movement was standing over talking to another coach. And at this time I was done with my first class and I was assisting another team with things that maybe, you know, they need to get caught up on or any, any way that I could help out. I was there, you know, to, to help them out. Um, well, a new agent had an escalation pop up. Now, coaches on each team have their certain way of dealing with escalations. Like, for example, me, myself, um, first it will go to my mentors. And if the mentor can handle it, it will escalate to my senior. And then my senior can handle it, it will come to me. So I went to the coach of that team and said, um, how do you all handle your escalations? Does your senior take them? Does your mentors? I mean, how does it work? And bowel movement is standing behind there and says, well, why don't you take it? And I say, well, if they don't have anybody available to take it, or if they do things a certain way, then I will take it. But if they have somebody else to take it, then their other individual will take it. He went back and told that I was avoiding escalations, which is a complete lie. Um, those who work with me, those who been around me, those who know me, no, that's not true. I have a certain chain of command that I established as every coach has their, their way of doing things. And mine was always mentor senior than me. Um, and the reason for that is because once it escalates over me, then it goes to a manager and the managers are busy. You know, it, it should be able to be handled in the, you know, within the team. But you have to give the, the the levels a chance to handle it. And I've always been confident in my mentors, always been confident in my senior that they could handle the situation. And they do. I had, a, I had an awesome team. I had an awesome senior. Shout out to Atlanta. What's going on? Um, she's a coach now. But um, I said I wasn't going to use names, but that wasn't a bad thing. I love Atlanta to death. She know that. But um, she was my senior, and that's how we handled things on my team. So, bowel movement went back and told that I had done that, which wasn't true. But that was on my pip of something that I had done as a justification for giving me a pip. Okay, so, uh, I took the pip. I wrote a rebuttal for the pip. Each point that, that was on there, I went point by point, um, 
told what happened, told why this this isn't true or that wasn't true. You know, it was beautiful. I um I wrote a whole rebuttal for it. Um and it was my last day of work, so I was gonna submit it, but I I wasn't sure of the process I had it how to refute or rebut a pip. So I wrote it all up, um, and then while I was on my day off, I asked, okay, how do I do this? And I was told, okay, you just, um, first you have to say that you want to do a rebuttal. Um, you have to formally send it off email. So I did that, sent off email, said I'm going to submit a rebuttal for this. And, you know, I didn't want to do all the proper channels. Um, when I came back to work the, about two days later, excuse me, I got called into the site director's office. She proceeds to tell me that um, I saw that you wanted to write a rebuttal for your PIP, so I went ahead and submitted your rebuttal, and it came back that the PIP is valid. I said, how is that true when I haven't submitted the my rebuttal yet? How can you submit my rebuttal if I haven't submitted it yet? And she says to me, well, I went ahead and, and submitted it and then it was reviewed and said that it was valid. I said, OK, who reviewed it? She said, I did. I said, so let me get this straight. You, the person who gave me the pip, also reviewed my rebuttal, which I hadn't submitted and determined that the pip you gave was valid and she said yes i said how is that even a thing how can you as the person who submitted it be the one to review my rebuttal isn't that a conflict of interest and she kind of stuttered a little bit and yeah well she kind of looked at me with that blank stare i don't know if if that's just her face or what but she just looked at me like she didn't know what I like all stoic and creepy, but she just stared at me like she didn't know what the words mean that I was saying. And, she, and again, she tried to dance around everything and said, well, I reviewed it and it was valid. I said, that's not right because I can't write someone up for something and then they rebut it. I review their rebuttal, which they didn't submit and said, oh, yeah, what I what I submitted is valid and it, it should go through. Of course, is what I'm going to say. I wrote it. Why wouldn't I say it's not valid? But that's what she did. Um, at that point, I was told, um, you need to correct these things before we can put you in a new class. Okay, fine, whatever. So we, me and her go back and forth for, you know, a little while longer and uh, I'm just getting more and more agitated. So at the end, I just say, where do I sign it? And she said, well, you seem irritated. I said, I am because this, this isn't right. I said, what you're doing isn't right. Um, because what led to that was another thing that was on there was it was a show rate issue with some of my people. Now, the agents that I had would tell you that at the end of the month, I would calculate show rate. If they were under show rate, I would write them up. And there's nobody that can tell me that I didn't do it. She told me that I should have done that. I should have been writing them up before the end of the month. I said, well, how can I do that if I don't know if they're under show rate or not? And this was before they started calculating when you would miss and 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 there's no way of coming back and because before then we were told wait to the end of the month and then do the write-ups well she changes it up and says well you should have been doing it all along i said well that's not what we were instructed to do that didn't matter okay so at some point it got to well you should have wrote 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 them up um, at the end for all the things they were doing leading up to that. I said, no, 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 no. Let, let me back up. I looked at the overall pip and I said, if I was doing all these things wrong or it wasn't to someone's satisfaction, how come no one came and told me that I was doing these things wrong or 
when I even asked, I was told that everything was okay. Why was I told that if it was untrue? She said, well, um, it was found out later and this is why I write you up now. I said, that's not true because I asked leading up to it, is everything okay? Am I doing good? Is there, because I was a new coach. I didn't know. I wasn't trained. I had to learn it on the fly. Um, again, shout out to Ian. Ian is, is the one who pretty much taught me, you know, step by step of what to do. Um, also had Miss Crystal. I also had Diana. They, I went to them. They showed me things. Um, Asa, you know, they all showed me things of how to be a coach, but the, the, the outline, the, 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 how to from fundamentals wasn't really established. So for you to say that I was doing something wrong is a matter of opinion. Um, so I said, now, how come I'm being written up for him now? Cause some of the things they said happened, happened two or three months before the, the, the PIP was, was submitted. Um, one of them was about a call audit I did. Um, I guess the quality lady, the head quality lady, not the one at StarTech, but the T-Mobile quality lady looked at some of my calls and said, this call wasn't a four, it was a three. Okay, that's fine. But from what I understand, call audits are a matter of opinion. It's what well, I listen for and it's a matter of opinion. It wasn't such a drastic change that I was 100% is no doubt in my mind that this was a three and I gave it a four. That wasn't the situation. It was a matter of opinion. So how can I be wrong when it's an opinion? Well, it was just wrong. It, these are the answers that I was given. These are the, the, the reasonings that I was given. And none of it made sense to me. Um, so I went back to, well, if these things were a problem, how come it wasn't brought up to me so that I could fix them when they happen? I said, that's what we expect of our agents. If our agents fall short of a goal or our agents are doing something wrong, we're supposed to correct it right then and there so that the behavior doesn't continue. And I said, so by your logic, I can have an agent who constantly messes up. I can never say anything to them. Um, let them go three or four months messing up. And then at the end, boom, you did A through Z and now you're fired. I said, I can do that. And she looked me in my face and said, yes, yes, you can do that. I said, how is that fair? How is that fair to that agent? How is that fair to anybody? Like, how can you say, Yes, I can just let you fall. And once you hit the ground, you're fired. I I should just not do anything to help you. These are the kind of people that's in charge. This is the individual that is the site director of StarTech. She is in charge. She does not care about anybody. And it showed me that day. So after this this blow up and I just want to make it clear it was nothing disrespectful I didn't yell I didn't use any profanity I didn't do any of that it was a conversation I was getting irritated but at no point did I raise my voice that I use profanity that I do anything unprofessional so I want that I want that to be clear um So under I was under the assumption that if I corrected these things that the pip will go away and everything will be fine. Okay. So I corrected, you know, I corrected the things they said I was doing wrong, yada yada yada, and I got a new class. Um so everything is going good in that class. Um, I don't, again, I don't see anything that's wrong, anything that, that I'm doing incorrect. My agents are happy. I'm happy. Everything is going good. And then one day I come to work 
um, we immediately go into a coaches meeting. It was, I don't know, it was, it wasn't our regular day to have a coaches meeting. So we go into coaches meeting after the coaches meeting. I'm told I have to go to HR. So I go to HR and um, the manager for T-Mobile at the time um, is in HR. And she tells me that there are some things that I'm doing um, or did that, um, how does she word it? It's calls for them to, to basically fire me to, to, I'm no longer employed with Star Tech. And she goes down the list of things and, uh, I'm just going to let you know what a couple of them are. One of the things was I disrespected the trainer. Um, I don't need to say who my trainer was. Um, I believe that people who people know who my trainer was, my second trainer, not my first. My first one was awesome, but my second trainer. People know who my second trainer was. Um, apparently, I was disrespectful to him. Um, I don't know when and where. Um, I had nothing but respect for him. I was. It was his class. I was not in charge in the classroom. Anything he needed, anything. I mean. I thought we were all a team. Apparently, um, he was going back and, and, and telling every little thing I did or, you know. Now, I would like to believe that because he was a new trainer, he was just going by the book. And that's fine. And that's fine. He was going by the book and he was told I don't know if he was told to tell on me I don't know if he was told to watch me I don't know I don't know it's not it's really it's not important but it happened um it was told that I was late um it was told that I was 35 minutes late one day which is true I was 35 minutes late one day but I called I called and let people know that I was going to be late and why um, I did what I was supposed to do. Yes, I was 35 minutes late, but it was due to there was a traffic jam because it was an accident. Um, so I called and I let everybody know. Well, I let the people know who needed to know that I was going to be late. Um, I guess because I didn't go directly to the classroom every day. Uh, he assumed that I was late some days when I, I really wasn't. Um, I would go out to the floor as soon as I got there most of the time because we were getting shuffled around so much. I had to make sure that my mentors had places to sit, that my senior was settled. I had to make sure that the floor was good. And then I would go into the classroom. So I wouldn't be in the classroom right when class started. I would go to the floor, make sure that was settled, and then come into the classroom. I didn't think it was a problem. I was just making sure everybody was taken care of. Apparently, I was wrong. Um, another a situation they said I had with the trainer in the classroom was um, it was said that I, um, how'd they put it? I basically upset an agent on my team. Um, I upset an agent. Um, it caused her to walk out and I made her very upset. Okay, that was one of the reasons that, that they called for me getting fired to. Um, the situation that happened was it was close to my team about to go out on the floor. So we did scenarios in the classroom where um, we would have the agent take control of the big screen and monitor and we would go through scenarios. And they were hard scenarios. They were scenarios that would get you... The point of was to get you flustered. The point was to put you under a little bit of stress because that's what we deal with real world on the phone um and i would start somebody in with a scenario i would you know i would have somebody else be a caller to, you know simulate calling in they will call in um sometimes they would call in mad sometimes they will call in normal you know just like our calls are um and if the agent got stuck or if the agent you know, stumbled or got flustered. I would look around and say, does anybody else know what to do? 
someone raised their hand, I would say, okay, take over. And I would make the other agent get up and they would swap out and they would finish the situation. Well, apparently um, I upset one of my agents and I did have an agent get upset and, and walk out. Um, that was one of the reasons I got fired also because of that situation. Um, also during that same day, um, during that same exercise, I had one of my, they had scenarios already written up and scenarios pre-written and determined already. So one of the situations was, and this was, I didn't write this. This was already there. The trainer had this for us. One of the situations was my child ate my iPad and pooped it out. And now it doesn't work. Now, just think about the physics on that, but it's not important. Um, so I, me trying to be funny and, and me being who I am, I told my mentor, I said, tell the agent that you already troubleshot your device and you're not going to do it again. That's all I said. She said it. Everybody laughed. Everybody got cracked up. It was a, it, it went over huge and it was just, everybody got to laughing and yada, yada, yada. I was told that, um, that was inappropriate and I disrespected the trainer and he felt disrespected by me doing that. Okay. Even though he was one of the ones laughing also, but he disrespected Yadi. Okay, cool. He disrespected. So the, those were the main reasons that I was fired is because of being late and being disrespectful to the trainer. Now, um, I was told that because I was already on a pip, that they had to let me go. Now, I brought up, well, I was told that the pip would go away because that's the reason I got a new class is because I did everything I had to do and the pip went away. And at that point, she told me that, no, that wasn't true. And whoever told me that, wasn't telling me the truth. So that's why I feel like this whole thing was a setup from the beginning. Um, and, and that's fine. And that's fine. If, if, if they didn't want me there, then fine. It, 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 it's not personal. You don't want me there. Cool. Like I said, I didn't do it for the money. I'm fortunate enough that, I don't need the money. It was nice. I mean, I wouldn't done it for free, but I didn't, they, they didn't have me in a pigeonhole like they do most people. Like most people need the job and they can hold that over top of you. And the side director knew that that wasn't my case. She really had nothing to control me with. And she didn't like that. Like nobody liked that. They don't have anything to control. If they don't have anything to control you with, then they lose all power over you and that's the only way they can control you then they have to get rid of you and that's the story of what happened from beginning to end that's what happened oh 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 dvd extra i forgot about this story with the with the site director we're in her office and she tells me this is why we're talking she tells me she says well, I've been in on your coachings and, and I know that you've been told these things. I said, I said her name, I said, you've never sat in on any of my coachings, you know, either by me doing one or me getting coached. You've never sat in on one of my coachings. And she said, yes, I have. I said, no, you haven't. You're sitting here lying to me right now and you know you're lying and you're doing it in front of the HR lady and I don't understand why. And... I called her out. She didn't like it. And I think that has something to do with it also. But it's all, that's all speculation at this point. Um, but that's the, the real story of what happened. Now, if anybody wants to refute this, I invite you 
I'll come to you, you come to me, we can get on camera and go back and forth. We can talk about what's going on. If you want to refute anything that I have to say, you are more than welcome to. But I won't get any any takers because I'm telling the truth. I won't have anybody come up and say, oh, I, 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 I want to say something because it's the truth. They'll say things behind my back. They'll try to disparage me, try to discredit me. But this is the last time that I'm going to speak on it. Um, unless somebody wants to actually come on here with me, get on camera so it can be no he said, she said, or he said, he said, or whatever the case may be. And we can talk about it on camera and I'll post it for you all. You all can see what happens. And, but I have no reason to tell a lie. I'm not a person who seeks attention. I'm not a person who, who does things to get a reaction. I, I stay to myself. I don't, I don't bother anybody. I'm pretty cool and calm and collected. And you know, I, I'm kind of like, whatever I'm most, I'm, I'm whatever most of the time, but they kept coming at me and kept coming at me. So I feel like I had to say something. Um, I didn't want to put the whole story out because it wasn't really that important. The bottom line is they didn't want me there anymore. They did what they had to do to get rid of me. Cool. That's business. It is what it is. Um, but before I, I just want to say that I am happy. I'm far less stressed. Um, I'm in a good place. Um, and nobody, you know, you don't have to, 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 to worry about me or anything like that. I'm good. Those that care have reached out. Um, and I appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you that, that reached out and checked on me and, and, and thank you. But, but truly, truly, I, I am good. Um, but, uh, I just want to end off by saying I hope everybody had a, a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, um, a great new year. Um, I really hope everybody's 2018 is is fire. I hope, you know, all the best for everybody because, you know, that's the kind of guy I am. Um, I'll be back with more videos, more, you know, we'll start doing challenges, things of that nature. So if you haven't already, you know, like the video, subscribe, comment. Um, share the video, share the channel. You know, I'm trying to get subscribers to get this thing going. But until I see you all again, um, have a blessed day um, and take care of yourself.